Welcome to the Farber International News Network. We are Finn, and I'm very pleased now to be with Jean-Christophe Monfray from Esteline. Welcome to Finn. Yeah, welcome. It's very pleasure to host you on our booth here. We're very pleased to have you here. A great stand, uh, and of course, uh, before we go into the, the detail of what we're sat in front of, explain to me the, the importance of a business like yours coming to the Paris event. Well, Paris is the biggest air show in the world, so for us it's key to be here. We meet all our key customers, we have executive visits, we have all our most important customers, so that's very important. We are also able to access to some new contracts, new opportunities, so that's why we are here. Uh, and important as well for you to showcase new products. Uh, what have you brought to the market uh, for this year's event? So this year events we have brought up our latest displays and control panels and such. So what you can see here is well, the displays we put on the Comac C919 that just had his first flight very successfully. We are also showing some more rugged products that goes more on the defense market, on helicopters. Uh, we are showing uh, our MFD 306A that we are installing on multiple aircraft retrofit programs. Uh, we are also showing various new technologies. So on that new technology, touchscreen of course is, is pretty key on this, certainly using the Chinese Comac C919. Explain to me some more of that. Well, touchscreen allows for a lot of uh, advantages in the cockpit. I mean, people are used to use smartphones, tablets and such and this technology is getting into the cockpit because it allows much more uh, easy to use man-machine interface. Uh, also, during turbulence, which was a challenge, we have brought up some nice solutions that allow the pilots to use those displays in turbulences. So I was going to ask you then about how you maintain the accuracy using touchscreen. If I'm in the car and I'm using the sat-nav, my finger can go all over the place. How do you maintain that? So for this purpose, I mean, we use um, multiple artifacts. First, we have some hand grip that is very easy to catch, uh, so that the pilot can really hold his hands and get to the right position he wants. Plus, on top of that, we have uh, projective capacity and uh, force sensing technology, which allows the pilots to first get his hands, select where he wants to be, and then push hard to validate the function. And this combination makes it easy to use in turbulences. Okay. Thank you very much, John Christoph. Uh, of course, you get all our interviews online right now at wearefin.com.